Uh, hello, this is how we do it. We're very casual here. Oh my god, Do you like it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> She's so excited. I really am, and can I just say, you look gorgeous. What? Like, in general, but especially today. Wow. Yeah. That's so nice. I'm gonna take my shoes off, if that's okay. You could take whatever you like off. <laughs> Jeez Louise! Jeez Louise! All Good right. Welcome, Pokimane. Welcome. Uh, Thanks I for have, having oh, me. Oh, there's your boba. I got you something. Whoa, what? Yep. I'm a bad host. I'd knock it. Oh, I gotta work on this. So, uh -huh. I saw your tweet yesterday. Uh huh. This is like my favorite thing ever for cramps. What and is I it? just want you to have it. Oh my god, what? Yeah. Okay, it's actually kind of some freak. But I think you're gonna like it. All Cinna did when she was here was fart. This is crazy. What you had Cinna on before me. What yeah, the dude, with that? She begged. What can I do? Okay, so this is okay. the battery, which I was late because I was trying to charge it for you. Okay. In case you wanted to use it, you know. So I know it looks like a waist trainer. Uh huh. It's not training. What is it? You put this around you, and this you turn it on, and it will heat the front and the back what? to like three different levels and it'll massage at the same time. What the heck? Brrr. <laughs> what is this for? Is this for that? Yeah, it's for really? cramps. Really? Mm -hmm. And like oh my God. back pain, but this helps cramps so You're much. giving it to me? Yeah. I can give it It back. has my cat hair. You want me to borrow it? I no, I'll just buy another one. <laughs> How expensive is it? I don't know. What the heck? Just oh enjoy God. it. I hope it helps. That's so nice. I hope yeah, it Yeah, I think something's wrong with me. I'm going to the doctor. Yeah, that would be a good idea too. But in the meantime, whenever I've had like really bad cramps, this actually kind of just alleviates Dude. it completely. Like it's been shocking. Poor Ludwig last night. I was, I'm not kidding you. I was screaming. I'm so sorry. I was laying there and I was like, I'm gonna die. And he was just like, he kept going, it'll pass. It'll <laughs> pass. I was like, you don't I know, but it's he did. true. He though. ordered Advil. He was he ordered Advil, and the order comes. He's like, I got Advil and Funyuns, and I was like, Why Funyuns? What's a Funyun? It's you, oh, you don't know? It's, oh, I was thinking of bunions. That's like a no, thing on no, your. No. <laughs> it's like a chip. It's a chip. You got Funyuns and uh, and watermelon, and he was like, You might want it tomorrow. Bless nice. his heart. I know. Bless his nice. heart. Okay, we have a segment on here mm -hmm. um, where we look at your tweets because this is a knockoff late night show. Don't worry. Shit. <laughs> no, she instantly banned Both the counts or just one? <laughs> just Shit. one. Just one. Oh, okay, I, I haven't seen these. I haven't seen these. But I trust them. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Okay. Number one, we have a tweet that says, got a little makeover in Korea. Yeah. What'd you get, ma'am? I thought this was going to be spicy. What? What? I want to know what you got. That is spicy. Okay. So Why are you mad? I actually made a video that I haven't posted yet about this. Oh, spoilers. I got a celebrity color analysis. Okay. You know what a color analysis yeah, is? Yeah, where they tell you what colors you should wear? You're no, wearing this black. Girl, this girl <laughs> went in. Okay. In. She told me my face shape, my body type. She was feeling me like this. Really? She's like, yeah, you should wear these clothes and not wear these clothes. And she told me everything. And she told me the exact hair color and hairstyle that I should have. And then she gave that to a celebrity hairstylist who did Lisa's hair from Blackpink. Oh, I was like, and who the is Lisa? <laughs> I was thinking like then, Lisa Kudrow. I was like, that's just, her Wrong hair's woman. not that good. <laughs> and then, yeah, and then they just gave me a little makeover. Wow. Like, and you've never been the same since? Never been the same. Are you wearing the right colors? Today, sort of. What colors are you supposed to wear? Warmer colors, but I mean, this blue is a little, it's an in-between. No. It's not super It's not tone. warm. I know. Today was one of those days where I was like, okay. like I'm wearing silver jewelry, everything's a little cool tone. But so you're supposed to go. She also explained like the way to make it work for you is just to make it more muted. Like this isn't a vibrant blue, so it's okay. You get it? No. <laughs> a vibrant blue is like, like a paint color, like a paint blue or a paint red. All right, well, so you didn't get any, I thought you got like Botox or something. I didn't do anything. I thought you got lip I filler. I really wanted to. Why would you mm. post a picture I like know. that? You baiter. You can still see the crinkles in my lips. You know, I've been thinking about lip filler because I've seen a lot of people do it. Yeah. But like, you can't go back. I know. You're, you're, you get like weird butthole lips. They get all deflated. It's a forever thing, I you know. know. <laughs> you don't, who posts a picture like that of their nose in their mouth and not get it touched? I just thought it was cute because my lip gloss was glossy. You're a farmer and you know it. Really? 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 I've got a little makeover in Korea. And you're thinking nose job? Yeah. Whoa. That's what people go to Korea for. Well, I wanted to go to this place. Okay. And you know the dermatologist I told you of? Yeah. 
So I have a dermatologist in LA that I really like. She told and me like, not to tell anybody about him. <laughs> and I'll only do any kind of face skincare treatment if he's like, yeah, no, this is actually good. So I went and I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna go to a clinic. I'm so excited. You know, I'll try something, hopefully come back looking beautiful. Uh -huh. But as soon as I got to Korea one, I got sick as fuck. Oh, like sad. Period, oh. jet lag, flu, oh. basically. That sucks. It was the trifecta of symptoms I wanted to KMS. Yeah. Anyways, and then when I got there, I also looked up a bunch of stuff, like literally five to 10 things. I was like, this looks maybe good. I yeah. sent them all to him. He was like, no. Really? No. No. Yeah, because a lot of things, for example, You told me about this weird laser. She said, avoid this yes. laser, it does stuff. And I said, Yeah, Why? I mean, Korea's just really big on like lasers and different kinds of procedures, but all of those things, for my skin type, he was like, for your skin type, your skin is really thin, and if you do these lasers, you're gonna lose all the fat in your face in a bad way, like you're gonna look really old in a year or two. And I was like, Oh. Yeah, and, um, your skin doesn't look thin to me, Thank you. my queen. Thank you. <laughs> Metaphorically, no it's matter not, what he you know says. What I mean. Yeah. Uh -huh. um, and then, oh yeah, he told me the only thing that would be worth doing is getting salmon sperm DNA injected in my face. Yeah. What is that? Do? That's like the latest thing. Salmon, salmon sperm, sperm DNA. DNA. Yeah. What does it do? It's almost like a growth factor kind of thing. Okay. It just makes your skin real. Nice. Weird. But you need to do it like two, three times. No, 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 I know. Looking for a stay-at-home girlfriend. And I still am. I still am. Why? Because I don't really know how to cook or clean, and I get lonely. <laughs> Why don't you just... On... <laughs> there's feels like there's options. <laughs> like what? Like making a friend. That's gonna live with And learning me. how to cook. And yeah, it's called a me. roommate. Yeah, but that's not what I mean. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Want to chat if you're available? I'm not. Unfortunately, I have a boyfriend. But imagine if not. Honestly, if I'm not. so jealous of guys with like He's male lucky. streamers with girlfriends. I cook for him. That's about it. <laughs> That's still so yeah, much. It? I don't know. Do you know what I would do? Sometimes I think about moving back in with my parents. Just so you could Free meals. have snacks. Yeah. Yeah. Snacks. I've thought about that too. Snacks are like a presence in your life. My cats are nice though. They're really nice. You have three, two, two. now. Thinking about three. Yeah, I don't blame you. <laughs> I've got I've got one dog and two cats, and I want more cats, but I can't. I just can't. Coots is such an interesting name to give a female cat. <sighs> it's not my fault. What does it mean? You know how Ludwig is. It means vagina. <laughs> cooter. It's short for cooter. I thought it was like cahoots or something. No, it's short for cooter. You're kidding. No. Like intentionally or just uh, coincidentally? Ludwig's Valorant name was Cooter Killer, and he wanted to name her after him, so he went with Cooter, but then Cooter couldn't fly, so then he went with Coots. When awesome. people ask me, I tell them it's a type of duck, because it is. They're like, Coots, where's that name from? I said, it's a type of duck. <laughs> <laughs> it's a vagina. Uh, honestly, a lot of things make me so impressed with Ludwig. Like, I think he's such a capable, smart, interesting uh -huh. person. Yeah. And then he'll just have a Valorant username like Cooter Killer, and it just really makes me it makes me think like, do you ever really know anyone? No, I don't think I've <laughs> lived with him for almost four years now, and I don't know him. Mm. Sometimes There's I look so at him, I'm like, what is in that brain? Onion. Yeah, yeah I don't you're get just it. peeling it back. Okay, this one's drama. Fun. Po pokey. You don't really do drama. I know. <laughs> I actually saw it slightly. What did you do to me? You showed it. Listen, I have an editor. I, this was when I was in Korea, so I actually was so. I got the Korean video. makeover. With AI or something. I said, what the f You know, I was really shocked that you even said this, because I didn't think it was that big of a deal, to be honest. Pokey, that doesn't look a thing like me. I think you're crazy if you think that doesn't look a thing like me. That doesn't like look a thing Does like me. Does it look really airbrushed? She has yeah, my but... eyeballs, maybe. Are you kidding? She got her nose from Tijuana. I this don't know where that came from. This is literally your nose with makeup on and, like, airbrushing. No. They're not, I like, look changing like, I look your like, features. I look like Ludwig's... What? His natural yassified face. <laughs> they did yassify you. <laughs> yeah. I don't know, man. Honestly, to me, I would it's look okay. at this and be like, it's just cutie slaying. I wasn't actually, I wasn't you know? actually mad for the record. I, I thought it was funny. I I, laughing emoji. I, I see the laughing I said, emoji. I said, what the hell? I see the laughing emoji, but I can also feel you're like, what is this? I didn't consent, and I want to say I'm sorry. Oh. I should have showed you the photo before posting. No. I don't give a sh that's not it at all. <laughs> you don't know me. Okay, but have you seen This like, is my voice. My voice is what the hell y'all did my face. That's that's my voice when I type that. They just YouTubeified the thumbnail to be honest. Oh, did it do it as well as you wanted? Um 
I don't recall. I was in Korea, like I was so disconnected. Great. Either way, great. the event went as well as I wanted, so I'm really happy about that. Good. Cool. Yeah, you killed it. Like, I know you were saying you didn't want to VIP me in your chat because my head's getting kind of big, and it kind what? of is. Like, oh. I think we killed it at the event. <laughs> Wait, you saved me. Like, is me. that just me? I didn't get to talk about this enough, but Pokey saved my ass so many times. I don't know if I got... Bro, I was just being your co-host. Like, that's yeah, not my that's, job. Yeah, you did and a then, good job at doing that job. Bro, you, you did a stand-up show, and then you co-hosted, and you produced the whole thing. Yeah, just... but I couldn't read my own teleprompter for the life of me that day. <laughs> Don't worry, I got uh, you. Next year, next year for sure I'll be able to read. We'll see. This next one we've got, homeless but without M. <laughs> That's pretty good. <laughs> You're proud of yourself. <laughs> it should have said unhoused, but yes. You like it still? Yeah. You'd still retweet yourself? Sometimes I wanna re, I wanna tweet my old tweets and see if anyone notices. Do it. One of my favorites is- um, I'm gonna do it. I'll just start doing it. We should. <laughs> I'm just gonna start. You can't retweet See my old tweets. See if anyone notices. My old tweets are. Why? They're like, I, one of my old tweets that got me in trouble with a sponsor was mm. lasagna, handshake emoji, my man's dick hitting the back of my throat. <laughs> 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 and a sponsor got kind of mad at that one. But wow. I thought it was funny. Throwback to when I tried some dating apps and got kicked of every single one within 24 hours because they thought I was catfishing myself. Lamau. Lamau. That happened? Oh, yeah. Did you try Raya? No. Oh. No. Um, that came well. later, and I don't know why, I just didn't really care to. I think it's because around the time that I was considering trying Raya, I tried a different dating app, mm -hmm. and I found it, I talked about this in my most recent <gasps> podcast episode, actually. Don't tell anyone. I said, dating sucks. It was so exhausting. Really? Like, I hated swiping and talking to people that I was like, it. So we gave up, yep. suffering from success. But this happened, and um, I also had a couple people notice me. <gasps> One time, so this was back in the OTV days. Okay. And uh, when people were like shipping me and I don't know if I should say, but someone. One time, someone on a yes. dating app literally messaged me and they were like, you would be disappointed. And I'm like, what the fuck do you think I'm on a dating app? You know? Like, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Wait, you two aren't dating? <laughs> <laughs> you know? Wait, you're not? Dating That's interesting, crazy. that sounds awful. This has happened to a streamer I know on a dating app, is someone pretended they didn't know who they were, and then like four dates Do in, they were like, just kidding. Do you know how scared I am of that? Yeah, that's <gasps> awful. They're like, just kidding, I'm a big fan. I've been a big fan of you. Shut the fuck yeah. up, four dates? Yeah, four dates in. I would end it all. Yeah. Whoa. So kind of, kind of scary to date. I mean, that's why people use Raya, but also, yeah. what do you think? Raya's success rate is like zero. 3%. It's the biggest egos on one platform. Exactly. Yeah. It's all just ego stroking. This famous person wants to F me. This famous person swiped whatever on me. My assistant Taylor. I just know has nobody it. actually dates each other. And we saw we saw one of the Sprouse boys, and I was like, that was kind of cool. She swiped, he did not swipe back, unfortunately. Depressing. She was not his sweet life. Yeah. <laughs> Um, Good next, one, thank you. <laughs> kind of want another cat or dog or a kid. Why do you want a baby? You've talked about babies before. What's wrong with you? I've been thinking, talking about babies. You know what's crazy? I dreamt about having a kid last night again. Why? But interestingly you enough, like it? <clears throat> I know my baby fever isn't as bad as it could be because I'm dreaming about someone in close proximity of me having a kid, like Not a family you? member, yeah. And I'm just so excited to take care but of But babies them. and dreams mean, they don't mean babies. You know that, right? Well, I know- Babies I'm... and dreams mean new things are happening. New, new comings. Nothing new is happening in my, my life. Crystal and room. I know, I know I kind of want a baby. But what? I don't want a baby. But like, I want a How baby. How old are you? I'm 27. How old are you? I always forget. 29. Well, you look 22. <laughs> no, I don't. <laughs> I you really don't. I couldn't. <laughs> I'll tell you what. Um, you have no idea. <laughs> the fact I can see the next one. <laughs> okay, listen. What? I'm getting kind of tired of you acting like you're not hot. Oh my God. <laughs> like we all have eyeballs, apparently, except for you. Pokey's giving me a makeover soon. As if you even need it. Literally, honestly, today I would just do your hair. Your face looks like, no, actually, and this is chat, this is not even chat gassing you up. No, my chat notoriously wants to date me. They're preying on Ludwig's Why do you downfall. think? <laughs> because my fat Honestly, ass same. And I mean, double true. D's. Actually? Yeah. Respect. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're so blessed. They're obsessed. Fat ass, yeah. double D's, yeah, blue eyes, yeah, what? I've got double D's. Why? I've never really looked at your tits like that, like you 
could. No, no, she's oh. she's got maybe a full B on a good day. I fully believed you for real. That's nice. Thank you. Anyways. Yeah, I am lucky though. I'm truly blessed. Do you not realize? With my. <laughs> Sometimes it pisses me off. Actually. Oh my god. No, I'm serious. Like perfect nose, perfect eyes, blonde hair, fat ass. <laughs> fat ass. <laughs> Multi millionaire boyfriend, yeah. and she's like. I mean, yeah, I'm sure. Uh, you can't do it. You can't do that bit. Like I'm not trying. You're to not do entitled that. to I'm that bit. <laughs> it's not a bit. <laughs> <laughs> you're just not. <laughs> She's mad at me. Next, Pokey's favorite. Oh uh, wait, wait. Way wrong. So one. wait, when are you having a kid? <laughs> oh, um, I'm thinking like early to mid thirties. You're crazy. Will you be my surrogate? Be honest. Actually, I was like always thinking, should I get a For surrogate? Free, should I adopt? Free? Should I just pump one out? I would get a surrogate. I'm afraid of giving birth. Yeah, but then what if, I don't know, you know? If she smokes weed while pregnant with my baby, <laughs> then she's wicked. <laughs> That's what happens. No, yeah. like what if, awesome. um, what if you don't feel as connected to the child? I don't give a shit. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Ludwig's okay. gonna name it like Pussy Dick or something anyway. He's gonna be like, oh, that one's name is Uncircumcised. Thanks for coming to dinner today. It doesn't, I'm not going to be able to feel connected to it. Have you ever <laughs> asked Flood, like, what would we name our kid? Uh, he would have no say. He got to name the cat. He doesn't get a choice anymore. <laughs> That's fair. I wouldn't give him a choice. You'd want to name it, like, Ludwig Jr. or some shit. Okay, this is your most favorite tweet ever. Hell yeah. This face this might be makes my most more money than you'll ever. ever see in your life. 344K. That's insane. You're, you can be funny sometimes, and no one gives you credit for it. Was that a mean thing to say? No. No one gives you credit. No, 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 no. That, for being funny. I mean, and you are funny. I mean, true, but that's not what the silence is for. What? The silence is because. Because I said sometimes. I didn't mean to say sometimes. No, 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 after he got banned on Twitch after no hate rating me. Yeah, there's a lot of lore. No way, I think it's kind of funny. funny. Like, I should write a book. <laughs> I've thought about it. I've thought me about too. writing a book. <gasps> should we do it? The yeah. amount of secrets. Whoa. Yeah, when we both retire. I've thought about it. I even like have written notes. That'd be tea. Just about stuff I, well, not written notes about like saving up to write a book, but sometimes I forget. My journal is my some, notes. Yeah, exactly. You know? Like my journal would just be my notes. I forget that so-and-so fucked so-and-so and so I can't have them both on Master Baker. Like, I literally have to write it down. Like, it's like, it's drama. It's so difficult sometimes. I'm doing the stream reward seating chart and I'm like, fuck. I know. <laughs> like, what am I supposed to do? I feel like there's a lot you still don't know. I feel bad. Why? That I, you are funny, regardless of the tweet. You don't need to tell me, I know. Okay, okay, good. <laughs> I feel bad, because, anyway. Kitty, don't feel bad, because then I'll feel bad, you know? Okay. All right, never mind. I don't feel bad. I make a this giggle here funny. and there, not as much as you. Like you kill it. I really like your delivery, and I feel like you're leaning into it more and more. And you're kind of like F the weird tweets I'm gonna get, and you're just really getting into that character, or maybe just who you really are. I like it. I don't what? know what you're talking about. What? <laughs> you know? I don't. I think I've always been this way. I think people just don't know because people only saw, they mm. only saw me on that show, that one show. No, uh, I, the I think. The Roger. <laughs> well, yes, you know but then in that way, you're just uh -huh. becoming more comfortable with how you want to present yourself or who you are. Um, thank you. I think your comedy arc has been, like, stand-up. You didn't come. You, you didn't, didn't invite me. <laughs> I had to hear through Bjergsen. Uh, That's crazy. Did he say it was funny? Yeah, he said you did really well. It was funny. Uh, Bjergsen, Golden Glue, and Ben all showed up wearing my merch. <laughs> It was funny. I would have worn you would have shown up. three of your merch pieces. I didn't freaking, I don't know, you're busy. Everyone I don't like bothering says you. says that, it's freaking really? annoying. Yeah. Are you not busy? I mean, I am, but I'll make time for fun things. Well, I don't know if that's fun. I don't know, it's like, okay, imagine you have a piano recital. Why would you're, I have a piano recital? Because you decided to learn piano and you're having a recital. <laughs> Are you gonna invite people to it? Yeah. Really? No, I'd be shy, but Ex maybe. Thank you, I didn't invite. Well. I didn't you know, invite Soren's ass, he showed up. I don't want to tell you. If I have a piano recital, I'll invite you and I want to go to your next comedy show. Okay, I will do one. What if we do a live show, comedy, piano? Okay, you could be the bow to my burn. Sold burnham. out Madison Square Garden. We won't get that far. I'll be honest with it. I'll keep us level. 
<laughs> that won't happen. I will help us be delusional, and you'll keep us level. You should it's be. I want to see you on unpaid intern. I want to see you on Ludwig's show. I want to go on unpaid intern. You do? What happens though? Um. Well, you go in this room. You got to take I... your top off. It's crazy. Oh. <laughs> How much you get paid? <laughs> unpaid. <laughs> unpaid. <laughs> it's absurd. Oh. Yeah. Well. Yeah, but it's. I would love to see out. you on it. No. Oh, thank you. <laughs> This is like every dude in my comments, when are you going to make an OnlyFans? Like, do you realize you're just asking to pay to see me naked? Yeah. That's not a normal question. Yeah, she's she's good. This face has made more money than you'll ever see in your life. I mean, I could it's, make more, but This okay. is so funny. Really the necessary. lore behind this is so funny. You know, now I look back, I'm like, oh, I look so cute. Like, I had you're such a cute. baby face. She's just a little girl. I know. I was like 21 or 22. Kind of a makeup-free stream. You know what else is like huh. insane lore about what? this photo? This was a get ready with me stream that I did, not even my first one. But during this, I talked the whole time and the whole premise was about like, guys, everything you see on social media is BS. This is what the so people sad. really look like. Like you don't That's wake so up looking sad. perfect, looking all maked up. And oh. then they get one, one unflattering photo and they're like, it's not even bad. I know, it's whatever. It's so funny. The rest of the VOD, I looked a lot cuter, I'll say that much, but it really doesn't matter either um, way. <laughs> so, unpaid intern, you go in and they give you like little tasks and you do them and it's funny. Okay. And I think you're funny. That's Actually, fun. I also, maybe Jenny, I'm gonna go on to <laughs> That would be insane. <laughs> Lud, if you're listening, or just tell him. I'm down. I'll tell him. Yeah. Lud doesn't watch my show. What if he's watching right now? <sighs> he's not. What if? He's working. Sag. Doing what? <laughs> I don't know. What does he do? Um, all right. Playing video games alone is self-care unless it's League of Legends. Why do you hate League of Legends? You lying sack of shit. You don't actually hate it. Why are you lying for attention is the real question. It's just fun. Yeah, that's what I thought. <laughs> well, listen, I have a love-hate relationship with League. Sometimes I'll shit on it for the funnies. Well, I won't lie. But am I lying? Chat, is this a lie? No, we love League of Legends here. You love Chat. League of Legends. <laughs> Do Chat. we love League of Legends? Yes. There's one Nodders. And there's like seven who said no. Now it's 20. Yeah, but now chat, we have fun when we do it. <laughs> but chat, come on. When actually, was the last time you streamed League? Actually, not too long ago. Oh, really? Me uh, neither. Maybe a few months ago. I did like play together sometime. last week. Yeah, I would do that. What do you play? I play mid or ADC. Or I guess I could play support. Oh, I play or AC or jungle. You jungle? Yeah, I'm pretty good. That is the most random shit I've ever. Why? Heard. It's because I'm bad at CSing. Who do you play jungle? Uh, Warwick. That's funny. It's, he's hot. Toast plays Warwick. <laughs> Can you blame him? Warwick actually is kind of Yeah, like, he's cute. Like Wolverine type. Yeah. Ow. He's hot. Chat, why don't copy him when I'm Ow. saying I'm doing good? You you are on that furry shit. I've never watched Toy Story. Why? Still haven't. When none of them? No. Nope. Why? When would I? <laughs> you you can't you can't the same time I say, you're so busy, I don't invite you to my comedy show. Yeah. You're like, I'm never busy, but you what do you mean when? <laughs> Too busy to watch Toy yeah, Story. Yeah, what are you talking about? <laughs> no, I mean like really think about an instance past the age of ten where you are like what, you know, are you just gonna get together with your with your friends and be like, let's watch Toy Story? Yeah. You know how I know I haven't found the love of my life yet? Why? Every single person I've ever dated, I've told them, haven't watched Toy Story, haven't watched. They're watching most this right Disney now and movies. they feel so sad. They're like, I'm not her love of the life. Good. Uh, <laughs> you know, sad. and I always tell them, I've never watched these shows. Everybody always freaks out or like these movies because I just didn't when I was young. Uh huh. Um, and they're like, we're gonna watch it. Never did. Oh, never. bitches. Everyone always says, oh my God, no way. I'm gonna be the one. They never are. They never we could watch them. it if you want. Yeah. I, I wanted- Love of my life? I wanted, yeah, L-O-M-L. -L -L. Uh, yes, Lommel. Yeah, Lommel. I got that Lommel. from Twitter. She's uh, just like Maya. Has Maya not watched Maya hasn't Twitter? watched anything. Same. Toy Story. I don't remember if I watched The Lion King. What are some- You haven't watched The Lion King? What are some- I feel like I watched, Have you watched The Lion Aristocats? King and Bambi. No. It's a little racist. You should <laughs> I watched it back recently and I was like, whoa. <laughs> yeah. What else do we have? What's popular? Uh, have you seen Oliver and Company? Watch no. it out. Sleeping Beauty. I don't know. I'm gonna start hosting um, uh, movie, nights? movie nights where I make dinner themed like the movie. <gasps> And then, oh, you know what I really but it's want not even a stream watch? thing, it's just for fun. Ratatouille. Wait, have you seen Hercules? No. Oh, that one's Definitely a good one. Not. Have you been to Disneyland? 
Yes, but half the rides were like under construction. Yeah, they do that shit. I was shit. like, yeah, they're are you going to give me half my ticket back? No, they don't do that. Like, no. It was weird. So they get away I with, didn't love they get away Disney, with didn't there. go back. Oh. Yeah. Uh, we could go back. Down? If you want, but you're so busy. It's piano and all. That's a cop out. <laughs> People just say you're busy No. they don't want to grow a pair and ask I, you. I, a pair of ovaries. I've asked, ask you, you. I've asked you to do two things. Which is? You did stream rewards and then this, and then we're going exactly! to do a makeover on your channel. Exactly. Wait, is this yours? Or mine? That's yours. Yay. Okie for Oogie Boogie. I think Ms. Kiff might self-combust if she went with me. Why don't we all go? Me and Ms. are like besties. Not actually. But we both like Sprite. Ooh, that's exciting. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we don't really fuck with Ms. around here, but... Who does? Exactly. <laughs> Trying to cancel someone for cultural appropriation all while that person is actually from the culture in question. Pokimane. Peaky Mane, sorry, Peaky Mane. is half Moroccan. Loki, this made me laugh. Also, I want to clarify, Peaky Mane is 100% Moroccan. So you got canceled for having curly hair? Yeah. <laughs> it's really funny when you say it like that, but yeah. So, <clears throat> so no one's going to talk about how a white woman is intentionally trying to make herself look African with that hairstyle. But in reality, I am 100% North African, actually. I was born there, as far as I know. And that curly hair comes out of my big old head, and then I have to straighten it so I can wear it for many days. Do you days. have to get it up, like, uh, chemically strained? Mm, I have in the past, but I don't like to. Yeah. Because when I do, then I can't wear my hair really curly like that. And when I chemically straighten it, my... When I straighten it like this, it doesn't last as long. Uh -huh. It gets greasy so fast. Is that what normal straight white people's hair is like? Yeah. It gets greasy really It gets fast? really... Yeah, that's why the boys on Fear and always say I look damp. <laughs> Because I have to put a lot of hair oil so this dry ass hair, and then so they're like, cutie, you always look mm. moist. I'm trying to think of that in a good way. It's not. Like damp. No, they're like, very damn, mean girl, to me. you look damp. Like, it's better than being dry. They say I no can't to be talk, and they say I look moist. Do you want me to come on the show and bully them? Yeah. Sure. I really don't like them. Fearon was fun. Let me come back with you. Yeah, come back. No, Honestly, you, should, you're the you should come on Wine About It. Why about it's more fun? Let's do it. And then, because we don't drink anymore either. <laughs> and when do I get to go on Don't Tell Anyone? How is that doing, by the way? Good. I'm oh having my, God. my first guest this week. I think they and probably then, heard that. Oh, whatever. And then you can be... She's good next. guest. Chad, did you hear that? Whatever. Um, yeah. <laughs> it's a teaser then. We're wearing microphones <laughs> right next to our fucking shit. And you're, it's it. <laughs> so, yeah. She's good on podcasts. She's great. I love oh, her. I don't know how you do it. Your podcast is hard because it's just you. You know, you would think, but I actually... You sit there and script it? That's yes. The, okay, that's the only way I can do it. I recorded an episode today, mm -hmm. and I think it was the first time where I felt just like so comfy, just yapping. Really? I did a really kind of rough script, uh -huh. and then I just looked at the script like two or three times. Really? Usually I'm like, you know, going... But then I noticed, especially if you're watching on video, it's not really fun to watch someone like... Read. Yeah. Yeah, my chat does that. And if time. I have a teleprompter, I'm gonna feel cringe, so I'm not gonna do that. So instead, yeah. I just kind of like script out my ideas, and then I'm just gonna like bullet bleh. point and then check in and be like, not oh, yeah, even, was, oh really? Barely bullet point wow. today, but, okay. usually, but usually, usually, I don't just bullet point, bitch. I write essays. That's wow. why it takes me. That's why I, I only I, do one episode I, a week. I write like I mean, a full essay. I don't know how you don't run out of stuff. Even it's so hard. I couldn't imagine doing it alone. And you're, you're but like, bro, you're you stream. It's like no, I talk to these guys. Streaming with no chat, no same. But we're natural yappers, don't you think? Uh, no. That's what you think. No. It's easier no. than it looks. I, I swear. think. I think no, no, because you also like are able to like laugh at yourself in like a way. Like you'll be telling a story and then you'll sit there and like laugh. <laughs> I would sit there and I'd be like. <laughs> I think anyway, I, maybe this is a sign to myself that I'm a little delusional. No, you're good. You're, you're a pro. I've a little delusion. I've never met more of a pro. And I've met Fan Fan and Cinna. Thank you very much. Thank you, thank you. They blow. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, Lucy, who said my hair looks amazing. Your hair does look amazing. Thank you. Do you prefer middle part or side part? I feel so uh, confused about my life. On you? Yeah. I like the middle part. Should I switch it back and forth or just? No, people hate side part now. They <gasps> Yeah, the internet hates it. See, I have to do middle, and I instead I look like a, you I look, look really wet. Good. I look damp. <laughs> your hair looks so, like, it looks fun. Well, I could style it better, but what? your hair does not at That's all the thing. look damp. I have all the tools. I don't know how to use them. You know, Ludwig Bring for them out, Christmas. I'll do them right now. He got me all three Dyson thingies, all of them. I've got all of them. And I blue dried it. 
and then blue <laughs> and then and you then what I now? used the straightener. You blue dried it. And then I was like, well, frick. But I don't know how to do anything. I will teach you. It's not for lack of effort. I, will teach I really you. do. Yeah, I, I will my teach hair you. was damp. Okay, you just like men who cook. You just like cooking. I you just, just really you like just food. don't want to cook. Men, women, no uh -huh. binary, no matter your gender, if you cook for me, I will love you. Okay. This is an advertisement. <laughs> Please be my <laughs> stay at home <laughs> husband and or wife. <laughs> Please just anybody, yeah. anybody please. Yeah. You could just learn how to cook. You know, I want to, but I know I'm the kind of person where like, okay, when I learn to cook, uh -huh. I want to just fully get so into it. And that's oh, gonna require right. a lot of time. Oh no, we watched your shit. We watched your, by shit, I mean like your stuff. Yeah. What? Um, Your tour where you talked about cooking and you were like, yes. yeah. And then you talked about baking and then you said, it's like, yeah. baking's harder than cooking? No. You said cooking's harder than, yes. yeah, you're wrong. Yeah, we got what? offended over here really? on our channel. We watched it and I said, that bitch is wrong. <laughs> I said, how I dare she? I like the way she? you said that. <laughs> yeah. I said, what the hell? Uh, no, baking's way harder. Really? Cooking, you just throw shit in. You say, sizzle, sizzle. What? Uh, in my you mind, really baking, baking is like a science project. There are really, really good instructions. Cooking, it's like, you know, you have chicken, but then it's like exactly how much salt, how much this, how long do you let it cook? When do you flip That's it? That's interesting. Do you, how do you know when it's fully cooked? And Maybe you just haven't much. found good recipes. Maybe. Either way, I'm going to want to go on like a cooking arc. Okay. And you can't have an arc that's like once a week. No, yeah, I no, feel I that. No, I want to like, I'm going to read. You want to eat, pray, love. Yes. I'm going to yeah. read some cooking books. Okay. Watch cooking content. I'm just going to live, breathe, die cooking. Like okay. I did with gaming. But you're not there yet. No. Okay. Maybe um, like living alone arc, married arc, cooking arc, baby arc. Thoughts as my manager? I don't agree with the uh, baby arc. <laughs> <laughs> oh, really? In yeah. general? <laughs> yeah, it just sounds really stressful. I feel tired True. for you. True. Why cook we'll when you think could just watch MasterChef? Do you know how happy I would be if one of our friends had a baby? I would spoil. I guess. I don't know anyone who's pregnant. <laughs> Michaela. Oh, true. Yeah. She doesn't live here though. No. Yeah. You would you babysit? Yes. Really? Oh my god, I would love to. I just want to. You know, if you have a baby, you're actually not supposed to kiss them. Why? Because they can contract a disease and die. Did you know if you have a cat, you're not supposed to kiss it on the mouth because you can get worms? Haven't gotten worms yeah. yet. I learned that. Oh, Candy oh my God, pregnant. I didn't know. Oh, yeah. e Congrats, has a Candy. whole ass kid. I don't think any of these people live here. Yeah, they don't live and here. I don't, I don't know them well enough to go kissing their babies. Actually, I shouldn't kiss any babies. People yeah, in I California would. don't have kids, it seems like. There are not many kids in Los Angeles. All right, your last one. Serious question. Why do gays... Gays... <laughs> Sorry, why do guys? Why do guys? I'm dyslexia. Why do guys take too long to poop? Some of so which long to poop. Gay. Yeah. Um, why do the guys and the gays take so long to poop? I think it's primarily the guys. Then again, dude, Ludwig's I, so, I'll say it, drama annoying. Why? Because he'll go to the bathroom. Yep. Here it is. Sit there, dude. This is what he does. So he spreads his legs. Mm -hmm. His undies are down here. He puts his <laughs> phone in his undies. Wait, do you know if Lud sits to piss? And then he piss? sits like, yeah. He sits to piss yeah. too? Yeah, yeah. I wonder if so we just can draw some Valorant. kind of correlation about someone's personality, whether or not they sit to piss or stand to piss. It's his only time that he takes a break for the record. I like he is very no, go, go, why. go. But then he just sits there and he watches Valorant held that's up so on his shit stains <laughs> on Wait, his underwear. So his phone is on the underwear, not yeah, on his hand? Yeah, because the phone is in the, he makes a hammock. <laughs> With his undies, <laughs> and his phone sits there, and he watches. That's low-key impressive. <laughs> he sits like this, door open, light on. Yeah, he's impressed. If I was you, I would just pull up a stool, watch with him. <laughs> <laughs> like, hey, what's hey. going on? Oh, a three K, cool. <laughs> <laughs> I'm like, I don't know what's going on in Valorant. I'm like, will you explain that? Do you need to play Valorant? I don't want to. I love Valorant. I don't think I'd like it. Why? I don't know. I think I'm just having that attitude right yeah. now. Yeah, that's okay. That's when just you're my ready, attitude. I'll be here. Okay, hell when yeah. When you're ready, I'll be here. Um, okay, now we're doing the the question portion where we got we yapped. We're gonna ask a, f a, f a few <gasps> singles inferno thoughts. Wait, I think I saw this. Maybe. Is this the one where it's like a dating show and they're all on a beach? Mm -hmm. And everyone was mean to that one girl and they said she was ugly. I don't recall that. And it was like what the heck? And she was pretty. <laughs> 
I was like, what the? I think I watched this with Malena. <laughs> and she was pretty. Like, what the heck? It was confusing. I don't recall that part. Um, it's a Korean dating show where everybody there is so hot. And they're on an island where they basically... <laughs> They have to make their own food. Like they're eating carrots. Yeah, it's so weird. It is really weird. I remember this. But if they really like someone and that person likes them back, then they get to go to paradise, which yeah, is another like, like a hotel like, room, schedule. right? Like a beautiful yeah. luxury Malena hotel room. Malena and I room. watched this a mm-hmm. whole for a whole day. Mm-hmm. It's just so entertaining. The way, frankly, of course, a big part of it is like the eye candy. Like these people are beautiful. They are beautiful people. Personally, what I like I don't about think they're it. They're dramatic enough. Personally, what I like about it in comparison to uh-huh. American dating shows is that the buildup is kind of slower. It's so slow. Yeah, but I like that. I think it's cute. What? Yeah, it's cute. No. Or, bro, going from like talking to, and in Korean, um, there's like a formal and informal language. Mm-hmm. So when you meet someone, you're speaking very formally. And then at some point, you're like, you can drop the formality. Oh. You can speak casual. And, and then you're like, ah, I didn't notice that. He said speak casual. Me and Malena <laughs> didn't notice that. <laughs> Me and Melina were like, what the f*** is going on? Yeah, and then, you know, it's just cute seeing kind of a different culture. Okay. Hot people falling in love like they that. They were all hot, and they're all, like, rich, or they're all successful. A lot of them, yeah. It's Pretty a lot much. of, like, models, XK pop yeah. idols. Sometimes it's just a really attractive fireman. I don't know. And That's they all get, like, insane careers after going on the show. Really? Yeah. Do you do your hair like this every day? Um, I did it extra nice for you. It looks so good. Thank you. I'm trying realize. something new, so I appreciate that. Yeah, it that. looks good. You, you don't have extensions. Your hair just grows like that, right? No. Oh, you have extensions? It's my hair as long as I paid for it. <laughs> <laughs> I just what? Oh, is it? These are this. That's not real. Or Mm-mm. it's not. Mm-mm. I just like a long ass hair. I mean, it's hair. real pretty. Oh, sorry. It's real. Was that in play? Not. No, it's fine. Okay. You're funny. <laughs> Why? <laughs> Was that polite? I know. Well, I got to learn. I, I think I think sometimes I came I, from the farm, and on the really? farm, yeah. Well, kind of. Um, I, I. Yeehaw. Yeah, yeehaw. Um, <laughs> I was I was raised in like a community where like okay, this is the difference between where I'm from and LA. Mm-hmm. Um, you're shopping with a friend, mm-hmm. and someone holds up a shirt, and they mm-hmm. say, "Would this look good on me?" And I go, "Nope." Mm-hmm. In LA, someone holds up a shirt, and they says, "Would this look good on me?" You say. Maybe that went over there. You don't say <laughs> no. You like, and I've learned this the hard way because people will be like, "Cutie's such a bitch," and I'm like, That's "What?" That's a very um, accurate differentiation. You know, it's not about oh that looks great on you lying. Yeah. It's about kindly suggesting yeah. something else. Well, listen, I want you to know that my first language is French, where okay. people are extremely blunt and yeah. very straightforward, and I find your rhetoric refreshing. Okay, well, so don't worry about it. Nice. Too. Extensions. And if you piss me <laughs> I off, I'll be like, real. no, bitch. Oh, really? It's rude. Would you? Or I'll just say some random shit, yeah. You would You would tell me if I made you mad? Yes. Okay. I Have I ever made you mad? I care about our friendship enough that I would do that. No. I haven't told you, so no. Remember that time I made you a birthday cake? Yes. And then I left it on your porch because my social anxiety was too. <laughs> yes. I didn't want to talk to you. It makes me sad that you didn't want to talk to me. I didn't talk about, and I was like, uh, I'll just leave it on the porch. I mean, that's funny enough. <laughs> yeah. You should have messaged me that though. I did, didn't I? Mm, I think you made up some excuse. Did I? I think so. I kind of want to see. I think you're just like, I left it on your porch. Well, your Bye. doorbell didn't work, number one. I was sitting knock. there ringing. Yeah. I did knock. Throw I'm rocks sorry. at my window. She lives in a $5 billion <laughs> mansion. I don't know where my phone is. I really don't. I think I, I, wish, though. I, think I, I wish, did though. say, I think I did, I think the doorbell didn't work and the knocking didn't work and then mm-hmm. I gave up and I was like, I had to leave. That's okay. This one's fun. What is the favorite thing you've done in your career? My favorite thing I've done in my career. I'm gonna be honest, it's hard to pick one. Yeah, you've done a lot of cool shit. Thank you. Well, it's mostly just like so many fun things, some unfun things, but I'm not a very favorites person. Oh. Like if I were to go to a bunch of concerts, I wouldn't think this one was my favorite. I should be like, that one was really fun, that one wasn't, that one was really fun. I, I don't really remember a favorite thing, except I watched Shawshank Redemption for the first time what? Coming back from Korea, and I decided that's my favorite movie. <laughs> what? I don't know. I okay. just love the movie so much. Okay. That, Anyways. Okay. Career-wise, <laughs> frankly, I I think um, I would just summarize it as like my career as a female streamer. Uh huh. What is favorite about it? Like being the most followed female streamer on oh, Twitch. Oh, so now was you're like flexing. Huge, yeah, I am actually. <laughs> 
Thanks. So, cool. I mean, no, no cool, really. Cool, cool. Yeah, no, it's no. so exciting for me to have. She's just like, I'm just had... the most, I'm just the best. So No, I've just been nice. around during a very specific yeah. period of time. Uh -huh. Like, there are so many female streamers. No, we who get it. You're like the, so you're many like viewers that bitch. who are doing so much. You're on the but... Mount Rushmore. But we get it. Who else was there the exact years that I was and farmed every single meta there was? Like I'm really I'm proud of that. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, you did a good job. Thank you very much. I did I did say I said this recently on stream, I think, that you were a professional uh, like meta farmer. You were really I was. Good. I, I really want an exciting pretend meta like again, I like but... Fortnite. I can't do it. It's but crazy. that's the thing. I didn't pretend. You just liked it. That's why I'm not like playing GTA now or doing some random shit. It's well, like, you also don't. It I only seem like farm shit that I find really fun and I find new things fun. Well, it doesn't seem like you Wait. care about farming anymore. Not, r not for the purposes of viewership, yeah. which I didn't really back then either. Mm -hmm. It just happened. It was just what everyone was doing, and you want to and it was see fun. what everyone's doing, and it's fun. Yeah, like every meta really was something new. But now I'm like, am I gonna play GTA for the fourth, me third? Yeah, me like yeah. I did that in 2020 when I was like 22 or three. Yeah, it just. Not as exciting. You're over. Then again, maybe at some point I will find GTA exciting. But yeah, if a cool game came out, I could see myself actually just coming back and streaming every day. What just happened? Grinding it. Do you still stream on YouTube? What happened to that? So endeavor? on YouTube, I streamed like two or three times. Uh -huh. But I found that multi streaming on YouTube and Twitch, it's hard because you're kind of, it feels like you're half assing two communities. Oh, you know interesting. what I mean? Yeah. And like, YouTube, you can do really well, but you have to be super consistent. You have to like... You gotta have um, a bunch of bullshit. You have to have truffle. You gotta have... Yeah. yeah. And, and, and frankly, if you're trying to grow a community anywhere, like you really need to cultivate it day in and day out. And you just can't do that on two really similar streaming yeah. platforms. And I'm not gonna like fully ditch my Twitch community that I've built for years just to stream on YouTube. But instead, I kind of, I really like streaming on Twitch and TikTok, because it's- Oh, very, really? Yeah. It's different formats, so it's entirely different audiences. I didn't know you streamed on TikTok. Yeah. Do you like it? I do. Are they mean? And it's, uh, just get mods, whatever. Oh. Actually, they're pretty nice, even without mods. Um, but it's really nice, because TikTok is one of the only platforms where streaming essentially can't be detrimental to your channel. On YouTube, oh, if you stream, and you don't do it consistently, people might either like unsub or turn off their alerts because they don't want streaming oh, alerts. Oh, weird, or, okay. Yeah, you need to be like really consistent and yeah, just kind of do the same thing in a way. Wow, I didn't yeah. know that. I was thinking of posting about everything I've learned by trying yeah, to multi-stream. Thank you. You could do a master class. Have you ever thought about doing that? Ninja? <laughs> no. <laughs> You could do I it mean, better. Honestly, I could do a helpful. master class. I don't know if yeah. anybody would be interested, but. Chad, would you be interested? They're still laughing at the ninja joke. <laughs> what? He did a master class? He did do a master class, but I don't know how good his was. <laughs> did you ever finish your degree? I, I'm choosing this one mostly because I don't know. Nope. I did two years of chemical engineering, and then I was going to take a year off and save up money by streaming, and then I just never went back. Damn. I wonder if my she classes said, are college. still valid. I don't think they are. I don't know either, but what if I asked really, please, please, please? Really nicely? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I like this one. This mm -hmm. is one that comes up sometimes. What do you think is the most pivotal moment in your career? What do you think? Do you have any ideas? Mm, I don't know your career super well, if I'm being honest. Really? Yeah, I know. <laughs> I, I leaned into that I a lot. We besties. I yeah. know. Uh, I Why liked did you? Just for fun? Pretending I'm obsessed with you? Yeah. Um, pretending. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, because I used to lean into being obsessed with like, boys because the raw show but then you get a boyfriend and you're like fuck can't do that, can't bit, do that anymore. bit anymore unless and then you know i had to I lean into my what a cock yeah <laughs> <laughs> my my unproblematic queen um but <laughs> i never uh i've never like consumed your stuff until recently out of like a respect way where i'm like oh i want to see what pokey's doing i want to see her vlogs i want to see nice. this yeah nice. like your one vlogs remember i messaged you and i was yeah. like i like this style and they're so cute thank you um yeah they're really good cozy yeah genuinely i don't know i i think Wait, side note would you ever huh. um be in a polyamorous relationship no no, I'm too stressed. You thought about it? Oh. <laughs> I feel mean? you. It's a lot of work, yeah. right? Even it's a lot of work. Yeah. Um, Sorry, because you were saying, you know, I got a boyfriend, yeah. I can't do that bit anymore, but... Yeah, I know. I mean, yeah. yeah, but then I can <laughs> also, like, be obsessed with, like, Emmeru if I started dating you, you know? It'd get weird. If it was polyamorous, we could be keep okay. Yeah. <laughs> we could, I go Pokey and <laughs> Emmy, and who else can I get? Have a harem. Yes. We should be friends, cutie. We have so... I feel like there are so many things you could experience. 
I think I'm too shy. What? Yeah, but I have the personality type where I love shy people. Like yeah, I would just don't eat you, you up. I would be like, I'll bring it out of you. Don't you think I'd be miserable? <laughs> you tell me. We'd like go somewhere fun, and you'd be like, "This is fun," and I'd be like, <laughs> "No." I feel like I I'd would like, try no, to make it make sure that you are secretly having fun, even really? if you have a hard time expressing it. We I would never put out. you in like a genuinely uncomfortable situation. Are you kidding me? Do you like crafting? I love crafting. Really? Do you want to do pottery? I'm opening a deco den business. What's a deco den business? Decorating. Deco den. Like it's like den. Japanese decorating like phone the cases. Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah. I would do pottery. Really? Yeah. Have you been horseback riding? I don't f with horses. <laughs> Why? Because they could kill you if they wanted. Any animal that could kill you if they I wanted, kill I don't you super I like you all. Well, I never said I like you. So. Not that I would, but... I'm just saying. You not like me? I think you're okay. Oh. <laughs> I think you're funny. Thank you. Uh, you didn't say what your most pivotal moment is. I guess, oh, because you asked me. I don't know. I think, I think pivotal moments are like joining OT... OTV and leaving OTV. I made OTV. I didn't know that. Sorry, not made like I made their success. Damn, bitch. I meant me, Scara, uh -huh. and like one or two other people literally so why made OTV. You say that's I a chose moment. the name Offline TV. Well, that's cool. Thank you. Why didn't you say that? Because they're saying like the most pivotal. And I'm like, how do I calculate that? I do think OTV was very pivotal in my career though. What made you guys start that? I actually don't know. We wanted to make videos and a YouTube channel in our off time. So I'm like, oh, when we're not streaming, when oh, we're not when online, we're so let's call it offline TV. Okay. And you guys were just friends? Yeah, and I guess we wanted to make like a content creator house. So we just Were there it other content TV. creator houses? Do you houses want to know our name time? before offline TV? Yeah. Boosted Monkeys. Boosted Monkeys? I know. That's so League of Legends. I know. Oh my god. You want to know the other That's insane. name idea that they had? Yeah. Lobster Town. Wow. And I said, guys, what what what, what about offline TV? You Thank know, Thank God you offline. said that out loud. <laughs> Thank God. Lobster Town, bro. Boosted monkey. So who were the original Very people League of Legends. that you started with? Me, Skara, and Yuna were the people living there. Yuna? Do I know Yuna? I don't think you know Yuna. Um, what happened? And we had a manager. Is Yuna alive? Yeah. Okay. I just don't, I don't think he streams anymore. Oh. Yeah. He. Yeah. Pokelols was there kind of early on. And then Lily. Toast. And you guys were all just friends? Yeah, living together and making YouTube videos. Man. Good time. Life has changed. It's crazy actually to think back on those years. Yeah. Like, wow. How many years ago was that? It started maybe five or six years ago. How did the six? conversation go five? when you, like, what made you know you wanted to leave offline TV? Are you allowed to say that? You can also always say no. Yeah. Um, I think it was something that was slowly building up over a year or two, primarily because, you know, I'd been in offline TV and living there since the first day. Yeah. Unlike most others, except yeah. Scar, right? Yeah. Um, but also I came in like really, really young and before then I'd only been in college and living yeah. at home. So when it came to a point where I was like, oh, I, I want to live alone, I want to yeah. experience new things. Plus you really don't f Michael Reeves, you've always said that. <laughs> I would joke about him. that, but I, Michael's actually so f***ing cool. But anyways, as I moved out, and people uh -huh. were really nice and supportive about that, it just became more and more difficult to align like their schedule, a bunch of people yeah. who live together and mine. Yeah. And things that I want to do or things that they want to do. There, there have been like issues uh, with scheduling or deals or making things happen where I'm like, like this works for everyone else. It just doesn't quite work for me. You're like me. shit. Sorry. I, yeah And I feel bad like making them accommodate to just one person. Yeah so It was just a lot of things that kind of led up to that. Have you ever actually. like me on fear and probably once every three months I'm like I'm leaving <laughs> and then all of a sudden I'm back there next week. Did you do any other like Bro, not just me, but like all of OTV. The amount of times we're like, had we're, moments. we're gonna break up. <laughs> yeah. Not, less so that everyone's had moments, but there were moments where we were just like, this isn't, this isn't working. What are we gonna do? Yeah. And then we solved it every time. Really? Yep. So when you first brought it up, how was it received? Were you like nervous about it or like how? Um, how like, yeah, how did that initiate? Like, did you throw it in the group chat or were you like, were we like family, we need to have a meeting or like, so, did you tell one person they played telephone? No, there, there was an incident like a year prior to me like fully leaving uh -huh. where I think like I sat down and I talked to everyone about how I was feeling uh -huh. 
about something that had occurred, and I kind of said, like, like guys, I want a baby. I need to get out of here. Yeah. <laughs> How am I going to have a kid yeah, and have an offline sure. TV? Are you guys going to babysit? Yeah. And they were like, no. And I was like, <sighs> yeah. Yeah, that's when you know. Yeah. So it was like one talk a year before uh -huh. where something kind of went down. And then when I finally decided, like, oh, it's just time, nothing yeah. really had happened it around was just that. Like... It was just, it felt like this is a good time, things are peaceful. I feel like I should make this decision, not just for myself, but frankly, to make things easier on them. Yeah. And to be honest, mm -hmm. there were people in the OTV community who were really, really nitpicky about whether or not I was in a video. And Weird. I mean, you know, you have an audience so they can, it's their right to comment on whatever they'd like. But yeah. that was really hurtful to me because I'd been there since day one. Yeah. And I'm like, since, You're like, I named this thing. <laughs> it's like, since day one, and you guys are mad that I'm not in two or three videos that they posted on a trip that they knew wouldn't align with my schedule. Like, yeah. I, you know, like, yeah. I, I was really doing my best to balance, like, my life and what I wanted to do and the group. And I'm like, it's a good time. Everybody's happy. Things are peaceful. It wouldn't be, like, a big deal if I left right yeah. now. And I wanted to leave at a time where it was like really stable, like it's a well-oiled like machine. It's kind of like girl breakups, how like a girl breaks up in her head yeah. a year like prior, a year, and but then, then she actually, actually says break it. Up. Yeah. Yep. Wow, so, that's I'm cool. I'm so sorry for the spiel, but. Yeah. What do you mean that's what this is for? We were, we're, we're here for you to spiel, man. Thank you, thank you. Um, wow, that's interesting. I never knew any of that. Can we did that. our talk segment, which was crazy, because it just, you just, we, hey, just we're yappy. professional yappers. True. We should do a podcast together. Imagine. <laughs> Imagine. You have like seven. I know. <laughs> I actually can't do another one, but we can go on each other. We other's. could have we'll episodes together. Yeah, we could, we could do that. Fine, last one. Tell us about a recent book you've read. I've been reading Fourth Wing, which is like, if Game of Thrones and Harry Potter had a collaboration, huh? but it was also sexy. Oh, yeah. interesting. So for the ladies. Okay. So it's it like out. wizards and stuff? No, it's Wait, like chat's excited. dragons, but also a school. But also you might die. Oh, but shit. But also you have a really hot guy who's interested in you, or two. The reader? No. Oh. Well, like the main character. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the reader. I was like, that's Me. crazy. How do they write it like that? <laughs> I was like, that's awesome. Yeah, they're saying Zayden's Zayden. hot. He is. What does he look like? Girl, I've never seen him, but in the book, <laughs> just like so buff. He's just so, so hot. You know he's so OP. Yeah. And he's a little, he, he's the type who like, um, will only really treat one girl special. Mm. You know what I mean? Yeah. And so whichever girl's reading it. <laughs> just me, Smiley. That's so funny, because like when you read a book and you have a crush on a character, like when I, my first like character crush when I was a kid was mm -hmm. uh, Draco Malfoy, and I was like so fucking in love I with him. I mean. I know, I right? Get it. And then I saw the movie and I was still in love with him, but then like other people were mad. Because he's like the bad guy? Because they just didn't think he was cute enough to match his description or whatever. Maybe and I feel fine. like it's always so funny when that happens because like you're in love yeah. with Xander. And Zayden. Then, sorry, Zayden. But it's okay. You're in love with Zayden and <laughs> <Xander>. then <laughs> Xander and Zayden, and then you watch like the movie comes out and it's Chris Pratt playing him. What do you do? They wouldn't. <laughs> they might. They might. They put him as Oh my anything. god, they might. What do you do? I would just like the book version of really? him and like the image that I have. And you just try not, you try yeah. not to let him. Forget about it. Forget about it. Sweaty Chris Pratt overtake him. him. Yeah. yeah, I would split them up like they're different people. They're twins, but they don't look alike. <laughs> they just have the same name. <laughs> yeah, they just have the same name and the same story. Yeah. But like they don't, they're not the same. Whatever. 